The seemingly still and silent mangrove forest goes underwater twice a day. Bound by tidal rhythms, the residents of Bitar Kanika National Park go about their days, shifting habits and practice as per the lunar cycle. Deep within its narrow creeks, hunters lurk, and a daily dance of survival between predator and prey unfolds. Bitar Kanika was a hunting ground of the King of Kanika till it was declared a protected area in 1961. Today, a 145 square kilometer core area is protected as a national park. Low tide is an invitation for a feast. Mudskippers and crustaceans gorge on tiny insects and worms making the most of the bare mud flats. An opportunist wader waits for its chance. The mud flat dwellers are a delicacy for these long distance winter guests. Pitar Kanika's apex predator, the cold-blooded saltwater crocodile, basks on the banks, waiting patiently for the tide to rise and bring fish to the creeks. The high tide shifts the mood, but the stillness is deceptive. Inside, the forest buzzes. Pitar Kanika may not have big cats, but danger lurks in every corner. The cheetah seems relaxed, but is on high alert. The bed of breathing roots and tidal water can cripple its speed and diminish a chance of escape from a deadly predator. The Burmese python. High tide is also the saltwater crocodile's time to hunt. Pitar Kanika has nearly 1,700 crocodiles, making it the largest crocodile sanctuary in the country. The park has also been home to the world's largest estuarine crocodile. A crocodile offspring has to learn multiple life skills. It must hunt and save its own life. Adult saltwater crocodiles are cannibalistic and often prey on the young of their own kind. In comparison, the graceful kingfisher is a harmless looking hunter. One of the largest, the brown winged kingfisher, is endemic to mangrove habitats. And in India, it is found only in Bitar Kanika and the Sundarbans. The black capped kingfishers, however, are distributed throughout the 7,500 kilometer long coastline of India. As the tide rises, the Vedas, with their bellies full, move to the tree branches. But these perches are not free from danger. An agile hunter, the leopard cat, is on the prowl. After dark, the high tide transforms the forest. As waters rise, nocturnal hunters venture out. Starting yet another cycle of strife and survival on the tide. The night now belongs to the fishing cat. <laughs> 